Hey guys, what's going on? This is always back with another tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'll teach you how to use OBS. OBS stands for Open Broadcaster Software. OBS is an open source software free of cost. In this tutorial, we're going to look at two features in OBS. The first one, I'm going to teach how you can stream your videos like YouTube or Twitch. And then we'll look at how can we record our screen capture with OBS. So I'm going to jump to my computer now and let's have a look at OBS now. <music> Okay, so this is what you see when you start your OBS theme and source, right? And we got settings here, global resources, there's plugins available for our OBS as well. Here I've got streaming option, recording option, and I can preview my stream. I'm gonna add a scene to it now. I'm gonna right click, add scene, and I'm gonna name it stream. Okay, so now we have added our scene now. Let's add a source to it. So right click, add source. So these are the sources available in OBS. You can capture window, you can capture monitor. Let's say you've got multiple monitor attached to your computer, you can capture them as well. I'm gonna go and add my video capturing device now. So click on that, I'm gonna click OK. So I have this dialog box now, right? So on the top, I can select what kind of device I wanna select. If you have multiple webcam attached to your computer, you will find them there. Okay, so I'm gonna select HD webcam and I can flip image vertically, flip image horizontally. I can configure my webcam setting right there. Here, we got custom resolutions. I can check that box and I can select what resolution I want to capture from this device. Chroma key is a really cool feature. Let's say you've got a green background and you want to get rid of it. You can do that by applying chroma key. We're going to look at that in a second, all right? So I'm going to check that and I'm going to click OK now. So if I click on my previous stream, you will see what it's going to stream. So this is my webcam now and I've got that green background there, right? So I can get rid of that. I'm gonna go right click on my video caption device, go to the properties, and now I'm gonna select the color. I'm gonna select this green color, right that, and then I'll apply a value of 100. I'm gonna click OK now. So now let's add a game capture to it. So I'm gonna go right click, add game capture, click OK. Now it's gonna ask me what application I want to capture. So I'm gonna go and start my CSGO game. Let's go back to OBS now, okay? So as you can see that I don't see my game capture here. So I have to right click, go to the properties and select CSGO from here and click OK. And now it still didn't come up. So what do you do? You need to start your game. And now I'm going to press my Windows key. Okay, I'm gonna start preview and I'm gonna start preview again. Now you can see your game in the preview, okay? So to bring my webcam on the top, what I can do, right click and I will order that move up so I can see my webcam right there, okay? So this is how you can record your gameplays, all right? So I'm gonna go and click on settings now. Here we're gonna look at what kind of settings available here. In the general, you've got your language. Encoding is most important settings you need to do for your streaming. Okay. So here I've got three kinds of encoder available, X.264, which is the most used encoder, but this is basically a software base. So if you see a graphics card here, make sure you select that. Use your CBR maximum bitrate so this is the value you need to figure out here fits for your need okay so for the 1080p video recording i would recommend keep that to 8000 well it depends how strong is your computer okay so if you want to do 720p make sure it's more than 1500 well my graphics card does very well on 1500 bitrate so that's why i keep that 1500 bitrate down there you've got your audio recording settings here you can see the codec acc which is recommended you got channel stereo or money all right i'm gonna go to my broadcast setting now i'm gonna click yes to apply those settings here you see your mode right if you want to live stream you need to make sure that you are on live streaming if you want to just capture your game then you can simply click on file output only okay which will change those settings all right so here you can give a extension to your file by default obs gives you flv which is really outdated format so now you need to change that to mp4 okay so i'm gonna go and change this to live stream now and here i've got my streaming services okay i can stream to youtube twitch hitbox tv there i'm gonna select youtube gaming and here i've got play part stream key right so you need to find out your streaming key from your youtube dashboard if you go to your youtube 
go to your live events and every little live event got their streaming key so you need to copy that from there and paste it here for live streaming here i've got auto reconnect timeout if your somehow your internet got disconnected it's gonna keep trying till those seconds so here automatically save stream for you can check this box if you want to save your streaming let's go to our video now i'm gonna click yes to apply those settings here you can select your video adopter so if you have your graphics card make sure you select that because that's gonna be really good for your streaming and your recording video so my base resolution is 1920 by 1080p so this is basically a 1080p video recording you can downscale your resolution i'm gonna go and do it 1.25 it depends how strong is your internet if you have a really fast internet you don't have to downscale it so it's up to you guys you need to play around with this setting to make sure that what really fit for your internet and your computer if you want to capture video 60 frames per second you can change this to 60 which is good for gaming videos so i'll leave that 30. let's go to audio setting make sure you are selected the right microphone hotkeys are really important as well let's say you are playing a game and you want to record that gameplay right and you don't want to minimize that gameplay so you can just type that hotkey and obvious will start recording in advance so these are just the default setting leave them as it is let's go to our microphone noise gate now this is really cool option right if you have a bad microphone and it's capturing a lot of noise so you can apply this microphone noise gate which will try to remove your background noise from your audio i'm gonna click ok now let's edit the source okay so let's say my webcam is pretty big i don't want it that big okay so i can click on edit scene and I've got these vertices now. I can just drag until I'm happy with the size. Now let's have a look at a few more options. I'm gonna show you how you can record your screen. I'm gonna get rid of this game capture source. So right click, remove. I'm gonna get rid of my webcam as well. To record your screen, what do you do? Right click, add monitor capture, okay? So click on monitor capture. It's gonna ask you which monitor if you have connected multiple monitors to your computer you can select from here i'm just gonna go and click ok now okay so now as you can see that obvious is basically capturing my monitor whatever comes on my screen it will be recorded okay so i'm gonna maximize that and now i'm going to add one more source and let's say i want to add a text on top of my monitor capture right so i can click on text click ok select your font select the color opacity all that settings available here you need to enter the text this is my OBS. Okay, click OK. Now as you can see that on the top of my monitor capture, I, I can see that text. So this is really good feature if you want to add your logo or any image to your screen capture or your streaming, you can do that. I'm going to get rid of this now. You've got your image. If you have any JPEG or MPG files, you can select it from here. I'm going to go browse and I'm going to go my desktop i'm gonna select my autocad streaming i'm gonna click ok so i now i can see picture on the top of my monitor capture obvious comes with a lot of good features you don't need any other software it's free it's available on mac windows and even linux after you set up your streaming setting all you gotta do is just click on this start streaming button if you want to record click on start recording button you can preview your stream before you start recording or before you start streaming, right? So I'm gonna go and start recording. When I click on start recording, OBS is going to start recording my screen capture and my image. I can add my webcam to it if I want to. I can add some image slideshow, windows capture, whatever I wanna do, right? Well, let's find out where the recording goes, right? So I'm gonna stop recording now. And I'm gonna go to my file menu click on open recording folder it's gonna take you to the folder where the recordings are so here is your recording I'm gonna play that and let's find out how good is it okay so it, recording quality is going to be depend on your video settings so if you go to your settings video so these are the settings you need to figure out okay so on my resolution is basically downscaled by 1.25 so encoding settings are there maximum bitrate so these are the settings you need to play around to find out what setting suits your computer and your internet all right guys thanks for watching if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and if there is any question you're having trouble with obvious let me know in the comments below and i'll try to fix that for you thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video